Well, new this morning, there's a new buzz happening at Tyler ISD, and our Jesus Martinez joins us live. But the buzz, the bees are coming. The bees are coming. I had to. All right. Well, Jesus, you got an up and close personal, actually, with these bees, and I know you're not a fan of bees. I'm not either. No. So earlier we were talking about how you got stung by bees. I've never been stung by bees, but let me tell you, these bees are small. They pack a mighty punch. And yes, like I said, I am afraid of them. But these students at Tyler Legacy, you know, they head out every single week on their bee farm on mm -hmm. campus. You know, they just go out there and harvest them. Fun. So let's see what they have going on this week. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that one doesn't have anything. Doesn't have anything. It's something you wouldn't expect in a busy city. Here. Yeah, I don't think it has any honey. Just go. But these students are bringing nature to this busy city. The students get hands-on, they can see how bees affect the environment, how the environment can affect the bees. And the students are buzzing all about it. The program has been around for a couple of years and Ozarka has funded most of the project with equipment including suits. Rebecca Katz is one of the first students to join. So I've always liked um, like environmental stuff and I know during that time I was like wanting to figure out what I could do more for the environment. Some students are fans, others not so much. Even though we wear suits, they're still afraid to get stung. Me being one of those who was afraid to get stung, so I decided to conquer my fears and get suited up. This is the closest I've ever gotten to bees. Most of the bees are really nice and if they're not, you can learn how to handle them and, and you learn about like what actually changes their behavior, which is the queen usually. And for the most part, these bees were well behaved. Ms. Clayhorn says she hopes to see this program expand into something bigger for these students. If we could get a future class, they could end up getting a certification in beekeeping. And soon this beekeeping club could be an accredited class next year, ready for all these busy bees in the school. It is just a awesome learning experience. I conquered my fears nonetheless. Now they did tell me a couple weeks ago when they went to go harvest the bees, they got 36 pounds of honey. And they got wow. to take it home. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I love fresh honey. So my dad's I've actually a beekeeper. Shout out to my dad. <laughs> He's a beekeeper, so he'd always beg me to go with him to get honey and beekeeping. I was like, no, I was afraid. So I, I can already get a phone call after this saying, you know, come with me yeah. next time. <laughs> yeah, you're coming down. Yeah. Look at that. So I didn't know your dad was a yeah. beekeeper, so you had it in you. I, I had it in me. Naturally. You had it yeah. in me. <laughs>